The CEOs of Alphabet, Microsoft, and more meeting with uh, Vice President Harris at the White House today to discuss AI. But the president dropped in. I want to know all about this drop-in. Uh, Dear Jabosa has more. Like, <laughs> is it the, the, the nature of his drop-in? Does he say something in passing? Why do they even have this summit, Dear Kelly, Joe? I I wish I knew to be a fly on the wall of that meeting, right? Totally. I mean, throughout the morning, we saw those arrivals from some of the biggest names in tech. You named two of them. There was CEO Alphabet, uh, Alphabet CEO Senator Pichai, Microsoft Satya Nadella. And remember, those companies, they are essentially facing off against each other for the AI zeitgeist lead. There was also Sam Altman, founder of OpenAI and ChatGPT, the guy that kicked off all this frenzy. Now, Vice President Kamala Harris, she hosted them in the Roosevelt Room. And yes, we did hear that the president dropped by as well. Why? Well, the stakes are so high here. If generative AI is the biggest platform shift since mobile, since cloud, or as Senator Pichai puts it, more important than fire or electricity, Washington had better get on it. Time and time again, guys, we have seen technology develop faster than government policy. So now the White House is trying to take early action and address the alarms that are already being sounded by holding this meeting. And ahead of it, remember, too, the White House announced a number of actions around AI, including research hubs and new guidance. The VP put a statement out after the meeting this morning, in part reading, the private sector has an ethical, moral, and legal responsibility to ensure the safety and security of their products. Products. And, you know, guys, the private sector probably pointing the finger right back at the government, saying that they have this responsibility as well. They're all trying to figure it out as it moves so very quickly, something I think I say every single day on this program. <laughs> well, and Lena Khan had that op-ed, uh, maybe New York Times, where was it the last couple of days? So what, if you yeah. had to guess, Deirdre, as we read through her comments, there's this meeting at the White House. This is all pointing in the direction of some kind of platform legislation that seems to be coming. I, I think in this case, they realize they kind of have to get ahead of it because it's already, you know, growing so quickly. They got to get ahead of it because of so many missed opportunities in the past on areas like social media. I'm skeptical and I think many are skeptical. Maybe that's warranted because the technology just develops so, so quickly and public policy takes so much longer to develop. But maybe encouragement, perhaps, that this meeting happened today. Um, you could point to the fact that players like Apple, Amazon, NVIDIA, they weren't there. They're going to be part of this platform shift, no doubt. Um, but at least the government is doing something. At least they're putting money into it and looking for these guidelines and asking for feedback from the public as well and from the companies. So perhaps this is a much better chance than we've seen in the past. And, you know, some of the CEOs and biggest players in the space will say, hey, look, at least the alarm is being sounded now. Yeah. So that is a positive development. I wonder if there's any awkwardness where you have kind of, you know, the Google guy saying that he's the problem, and they're like, you know, like they're the problem, like they started it, or they shouldn't have let this out of the bag. You know what's crazy about that? I mean, this is the perfect way to bring it up, Kelly, because the, the, the biggest balance sheet of all of them, and, and Deirdre mentioned, is not there. And that's Apple. They got reports out. They, they report yeah. after the bell today. Deirdre, I wonder, is there, is there a scuttlebutt out there in the, in, the, in the valley, in the Bay Area, about Apple and its AI ambitions, what it could look like, what it could manifest itself at in, you know, in, in the coming months and, and quarters and years? I don't think that anyone doubts that Apple is going to be a player here. You had Tim Cook a few years ago referring to its secret car project, saying it's the mother of all AI projects. It's even developing its own artificial intelligence chip. Why it wasn't there today, I mean, they focused on the generative AI platforms, the four players that actually have products being used today, like BARD and ChatGPT, Microsoft's Bing. Um, so maybe there's a good reason that some of the other guys weren't there, but certainly you're going to want to watch tonight what Apple, what Tim Cook has to say about their efforts. I think it was only mentioned five times on the last earnings call, but you can <laughs> bet it's going to be mentioned a lot more tonight. I think it was mentioned dozens of times between Microsoft and Alphabet during their yeah. earnings calls. So. Dozens and dozens.